Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. It is time to go over Chapter 7 of the Doomsday Era Saga Elvira Demon Slayer. If you complete this, you will also get Dark Passenger. When the turn starts, if the wearer is under control, removes control effects from the wearer and applies a random control to a random enemy. It can activate up to three times and when the turn ends, you deal random magic damage to the enemy. So very powerful. It definitely feels like SP was gonna bring back the deniers and then they killed him off with Dark Passenger. Because now you can cleanse and you also possess or stun or freeze or I'm assuming baby and all the other control skills one of the enemy monsters. Uh, but with that being said we are gonna play through Elvira Demon Slayer on easy mode and then I'm gonna use the one the Elvira that SP gave me and then I'll move on and I'll complete the medium and hard with my own as always. Alright so let's see. How does this play out? You can free us from serving you now. Not so fast. What do you mean by not so fast? Free us now! Aren't you forgetting something, Elvira? You've got what you and your angels wanted. Heaven is yours again, thanks to me. But what have I obtained from this process so far? Do I need to remind you that the Peak of Reconciliation Treaty is still broken? You'll never have peace while Lord and Herder is King of Hell. So what do you want from us? Well, obviously I still need to recover the Throne of Hell and I don't have an army. I would be a fool to attack him by myself. However, you have an army and are still my servant, so you can enter the underworld and conquer it for me. Aren't you still furious and humiliated? Don't you want to hurt Lord Inheritor? Of course I am furious, but I'm not near as strong as him and we don't have any Ambrosia left. You're right, but do you remember the day at the peak of reconciliation? To see our pact, you have brought Heaven's Ambrosia and I brought a capsule of Hell's Blaze. And I have that capsule right here. So stand still, servant. Ah, so that is how she transforms. Very interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, and that's how we get Elvira Demon Slayer. Poor Barbell is like so tiny over there now. Well, Elvira, I don't know if you look more powerful or scary. Please remember that above anything else, you're an angel. I'll be whatever I need to be to win this war, Barbell. I'm furious, fired up, and ready to slay some demons. But before Barbatos. But before, Barbatos, allow me to reunite with the rest of my angels. As you said, we can't do this without an army. Wish granted. Do what you need to do and meet me at the gates of hell before the next full moon. Man, she's huge. Okay, guys. I am curious. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think the era is coming to an end? Do you think it's only a matter of time before we have a brand new era? Because typically what I've noticed, and I'm sure other players have noticed it too... Whenever the monsters start to get very, very powerful, and this season, season 4, Master Goldfield is powerful, Demon Slayer is powerful, we're getting a Pierce monster, uh, Cupid, Cherub, Cherub Cupid that's powerful, do you think this means we're going to enter a new era, or do you think SP is going to keep the Doomsday Era going forward? I mean, what happens once we defeat Barbatos, right? Is there more to it than that? Is someone else going to take over? Like, who knows? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think is going to happen? How is this going to shape out? We'll definitely get some more info. As we continue through this era saga. Um, let me put in some AoEs on my monster just to make things faster. So we're going to put... Um, if I have AoE skills. I have Demonic Angel. That's the only one. Okay, so we're good. Um, exit out. Fight. Maybe I should make... Oh, we got an attacker. Demonic Angel. There we go. Battle 1. And I have Singles. Repent Sinner. And Dictum. Yeah. So if I have him go first and use his AoEs, that would be fast too. But yeah, I mean, Monster Zion, look at that. She looks cool. She looks so darn cool. Alright. How many cutscenes? One, two, three, four. Not that many. Five, six. Oh, we already fight Lord Inheritor at the end. I was not expecting that. Oh, wow. And where does Master Goldfield play into all this? I'm also curious about that. Man, what's going to happen? Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, Uriel too. I forgot him. So, of the monsters I've seen so far in Season 4, Uriel's my favorite. I really enjoyed Master Goldfield. You guys will see the um, exclusive first look for him, I think, tomorrow. And who else? So, Uriel's my favorite. Master Goldfield. And I like Elvira. And then Cherub Cupid. I just keep seeing him in the comments and that he has a Pierce mechanic. So, I gotta check him out. But I imagine he's gonna be strong and vicious and powerful. Alright. Let's see what is gonna happen. What is gonna happen? So I'm assuming in this chapter we defeat Lord Inheritor and then Barbatos takes over 
and then they are released man I don't know I don't know auto all right demonic angel remember to always spin the roulette wheels because this is where you get some of your best rewards nice spin come on give me my five gems Ooh, so close elementium I thought SP was gonna release a way to convert like elementium to ambrosia I could have sworn that was rumored a while ago all right Remio here you are Whoremaster, are you okay? You scare me a little. Why haven't you contacted me all this time? I've received letters and signals from almost all the other angels, but not you. I demand an explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, Warmaster. What's happened? Well, Remiel? It's just that they treat me like a god here. All I have to do is protect them from time to time, and they praise me and gratefulness. Oh, Remiel, I must say I'm disappointed that, that you've treated our downfall as holidays. I am sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't be so angry, Warmaster. I'll do as you command. Indeed you will. Holidays are over. We've conquered heaven and now, and you know what your job is. To guard the gates. At least you remember that. Now go guard the gates of heaven. The rest of the angels will arrive soon after you. Right away, Warmaster. Now let's rescue someone who hasn't had that much of a blast during this time. Who are we gonna go rescue? All right. Let's see, Demonic Angel. Wish I had another AoE skill. Revival on Musu. Throwback. I love these because I get to see some of the throwbacks. Alright, let's see. 25 Elementium. Do you guys think the other War Master will also get an updated? Like, can you imagine getting a Ragnarok? A, a, just a new Ragnarok? He already looks like he'd be a Doomsday Monster. But like, whatever new thing SP releases, what will be the new thing SP releases? I wonder. All right, because the Metro era was how long? Was it four sagas or was it six sagas? I want to say when the Corrupted era was six, but how long was the Metro? We'll take a look after this. All right, fight auto. Demonic Angel. Boom. Also, let me know in the comments below. Do you think Elvira is gonna be meta or not really in PvP? Do you think she's gonna get used a lot or? You think players will pass her out, there's other good ones. Like even though she does have the elemental advantage against Lord Inheritor and can do triple damage against Lord Inheritor, overall Lord Inheritor still has the permanent immune to torture, so that's super nice, but then she has a status caster for the team, which just makes seven cents obsolete unless you get hit with nanovirus, it makes the beast obsolete. I don't know, I, th I think she'll be used. I think she'll be one of the top 100 monsters. We'll have to see when the mid-season data comes in. Repent center and then she she has nice massive attacks. Well, she has one massive and then she has that heavy light All right, let's see what we get the, the team evasion cleanse is nice Especially if you're rocking a megaton monster or even a taunt monster All right Fight auto Demonic angel and Then ah oh, dodge area look at that AI doesn't know what to do. There we go. Finally. Repent Sinner. There we go. There we go. Spin the roulette wheel. I wonder whose Ska that is she's holding on her arm. On her right arm. Alright, Binksin. There's currently an event for Binksin, by the way, if you want to pick him up now. I really do think, though, like, don't worry if you miss out on older monsters. It really does feel like SP is... Like, previously paywall monsters, SP is making it obtainable for players. Like, right now you can actually breed Malarian while you're trying to get the new Golemnoid monster. That's crazy, because he used to be a $50 monster. Five gems, awesome. Or actually, no, maybe he was the $20 monster. And is that when Synthurus came out? Synthurus was the $50 monster. I think that makes more sense. Malarian being 20. Man, I feel like so much has happened. So many eras have happened that I, I forget what got released with what. Uh, let's see, Malarian. Was that when Synthesis came out? Because it was the start of the Metro era, right? I think Malarian was the first. I don't know, you guys can correct me in the comments below. Too much gets released. I have mine at 150. I use them every now and again. <laughs> but really not as much as I thought I would. Alright, oh, Elvira, finally, thanks for coming. I received your signals and came as fast as I could. It's been terrible. When I fell from paradise, I landed here, and Yao and Yao Guai Wangzhou mistook me as a spy from the Light Kingdom. 
I tried to explain, but he didn't believe anything I said, so he caged me. Apparently, he's losing against Sensei Panikin and his honorable friends, so he doesn't trust anyone. That's why I've been in prison the whole time. Well, I'm getting you out of here right now. Are we going back to paradise? Yes, but before that, I want you to come with me on a mission. Great, finally some action. Where are we going? Daige L, he has the Tauntator. <laughs> to hell. He has the Tauntator mechanic. If I'm not mistaken. Boom. Alright. Demonic Angel. Oh, it looks like we're in hell. Look at all these monsters we're facing. Ah, Lord Moltis. Demon Beheader. And Helbrus. Dictum. Alright, yeah. Daige L, he was a $20 monster as well. Yeah, I want to say. Man, there was a time when I knew everything about the monsters, and now there's just way too many. Like, there's so many monsters I forget even existed. Alright, we have... Um, Demonic Angel would be dumb, so we'll just do our single. And then we'll do our AoE. And then we'll follow up with another AoE. Boom. Alright, Igneous. Spin this wheel, let's see what we get. It is 30k food, so close. I think I'm at 5 billion food now. We we're so close, and we are getting some more cutscenes. Awesome. Ooh, and Kai. I'm ready now. Good, Kai the Sun Melter is over there. Lord Inherit has forced him to go back to working as a guard. However, I've spoken to him before, and he hates Lord Inherit as much as we do. He won't put up a big fight against you. Understood. Things will get tougher once you're in. Don't worry, I've got this. He took paradise from us, so now we're going to take the underworld from him. I'll go be I'll go in behind you. Good luck, Elvira. Part of me is like, is he gonna backstab them or something? But I don't think he is. Stop right there. We're supposed to dance, aren't we? I'm supposed to do my job. So earn your way into the underworld, War Master. Oh, he's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Poor guy. Is he level 5? Wait, what the heck? Why is he level 5? Why is he level 5? A, a, a bigger, stronger one's gonna come out. No? Okay, that was a, a big shock to me. Is that a mistake? Was he supposed to be like... 50 or something? I don't know. Why was he level 5? Oh, it's... Oh, I get it. Because he's... Again, he's taking it easy on her. Got it. Got it. Got it. Alright. Ooh. It's Beth. Watch. Oh no, Uriel! Uriel, it's you! What are you doing here? I sensed it was time for the trial. The treaty was broken, so here I am to sentence the one who broke it. I will be honored to have you as a witness when I execute the sentence upon Lord Inheritor. The honor is mine, War Master. Let's show these demons what we can do. Oh man. Oh, he, he goes backwards? What the heck? Oh man. Um, so I've been thinking more about Uriel. Like, how mad is he gonna be? Keep in mind, we do have Spear of Destiny, which applies res block, which is a counter to being able to res, right? Um, so I wonder I wonder if we're going to see a huge increase of Spear of Destiny, if we see a huge increase of Uriel, or, or how are things going to play out? Yeah, because that applies res block for three turns, and it activates three turns, I think. So you can have res block for the whole game, so unless you kill the monster that has res block, you're going to be in for some trouble. Now, of course, you could always, with your attacker, just eliminate that monster that can res block right away, and then you'll be okay. But I, I feel like there's also another talent that does res block, or maybe it's a recent skill of a monster I'm remembering. But yeah. Overall, though, like, random torture at the start of the battle. Random tortures, dodge area. The dodge area really elevated him and put him on a whole different level, though. Like, it's hard to kill Uriel, especially with a taunt monster. It's tough. I feel like you have two dodge area monsters and one of them is an attacker. Oh my gosh, you are in trouble. Alright, let's see. 40k. And we are almost there to Lord Inheritor. Just two more nodes. Minos. Alright, Demonic Angel. The more I see her in action, the cooler and cooler she gets. I think I'm going to call her like... Super Saiyan Elvira. Because of her crazy hair. Yeah. 
Super Saiyan Elvira, or just SS Elvira. All right, Killer Oak. Boom. I thought I was gonna run into It's a Beth. Maybe once I defeat Lord and Harrier, It's a Beth will come out from the shadows and try to take over. Since she is ambitious, after all. And we get Ambrosia, super valuable. All right, guys, here it is. Let's see how this goes down. All right. Monk, she's coming, my lord. You must be wrong. It must be someone else. Angels cannot enter the underworld. My lord, I'm afraid it really is her. You useless. Kiss the throne goodbye, inheritor. This is not pos. Inheritor, I'd like to introduce you to Elvira Demon Slayer, War Master of the Celestial Legions. And my servant. Surprise. Indeed, you surprised me. Smart move, I'll admit that. But I'm also flattered. The fact that you pledge your allegiance to a demon to have a chance of coming near me speaks volumes. You angels really couldn't do anything for your own cause, could you? If you're trying to make me furious, you don't need to waste your energy on that. I am furious, so furious that fire runs through my veins now. I don't need to be reminded of the day you humiliated us. You broke something sacred. And for that, you will stand trial. Tr to I proceed to read the charges. Lord and Harry, you are accused of breaking the sacred peak of conciliation treaty and of that you've already proven guilty, your sentence is to face a one-to-one -one battle against the affected party, the Celestial Paradise, hereby represented by War Master Elvira. Come and face your sentence, Inheritor. I will crush that sentence like I crushed the treaty. This guy, so Uriel, comes back just to be like, all right, you got a 1v1, Elvira. I'm stepping back. <laughs> what the heck? I thought he was actually going to show down and fight as well. All right, um, we are gonna save him for last. Let's kill the allies. Boom. Uh, let's see, do I have any singles? Oh, that kills him. We'll do this. Hit you with a curse. Uh, we'll just evasion. Oh, survived. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna recharge. All right, soul snatch. Can I finish him off now? Still can't recharge. Unbreakable. All right. Um, demon beheader and that way I can use a strong attack on him. So let's see slow this down. He's 100. I'm 150. I think I have two strength runes repent sinner Dealing a whopping three mil almost All right, well, he did not stand a chance, but yeah, what's gonna happen now? What is gonna happen now? Let's find out do we rejoice? Here we are again, at the peak of conciliation. Don't get romantic, Barbatos. I love how he answers, though. It's time to seal the treaty. Yes, but first things first. Barbatos, free me. Are you sure? Fairy and fire suit you. Cut it, Barbatos. I'm serious. Alright, after seeing what you did to Lord and Herod, I won't take any risks with you. You and your angels are free from serving me or anyone from the underworld. Is she going to transform back to normal? Or does she stay like that? Now, let's proceed. The celestial paradise and the underworld will receive only the souls that are naturally destined to go one way or the other. As both parties have agreed, this time there won't be any ambrosia as a token of goodwill. Please sign. The pact is sealed. My job is done. He literally just came here to be like, hey, sign this. The nightmare is over. We're officially enemies again. A shame. I must admit, I've enjoyed our little adventure together. But it's time to go home. My throne is waiting. How are you going to put up with a thousand of demons who will receive fewer souls from now on? I'll find a way to content them. I'll give out some privileges here and there. Maybe invent some new tortures. That's what I've always done as a king. That's what I've always done best as a king. Very appealing. But I hope it works for everyone's benefit. Goodbye, Barbatos. Goodbye, Elvira. Ship! I ship them! Is that it? Say hi to my brother for me. 
And with that being said, that concludes chapter 7. Let's really quickly take a look at the Metro Era. So keep in mind, Metro Era had some extra chapters because of the... Um, because of these guys right here. Right? The uh, Super Dream and Friends. But if we go all the way, they had 11 chapters. But again, I think three of them were just fillers. So yeah, I think there was only four real seasons. So... Ooh, is it coming to an end? Any thoughts you guys have? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, and remember to subscribe.